for today's cup of coffee. I'm wondering if anyone else has noticed a slight shift in the air recently. Uh, even in the middle of some of these heat waves and stuff that's going on, we have had autumn since about April. And even this morning we had a little bit of fog and it was cool. I think it was either in the low 60s or upper 50s. It was enough to where you could sit out with a hoodie and it was comfortable. But, of course, my mind is never far from thoughts of Halloween. But about this time of year, actually, after the 4th of July, it's like full on. <laughs> I will start the Halloween stalking probably eh, in any day now, basically, any day now. And had uh, got a, called a video by one of my favorite humans on the planet. I have never gotten the opportunity to meet these people personally, but I would love to. And this is the crew from Distortions Unlimited. And these folks are living my dream. And Distortions Unlimited is a Halloween manufacturing company. I'm reading off their website. An online Halloween store that's been making monsters since 1978. And that is just one of the coolest things ever. And they are located in Greeley, Colorado, and the owners are Ed and Marsha Edmonds. And they actually, I think, they had a series, a TV series there for a while that was called Making Monsters. And that you can find their videos there on YouTube where they, uh, the process as far as sculpting the, the different creations, uh, pouring the molds, painting them, it, all this stuff is handmade. It's not like it's mass produced in China. And as such, some of their creations cost a little more. Now, you could use them for home purposes if you're like we are. They have this Edgar Allan Poe. It's like life size. Yeah, and they have <laughs> some other things. I'm like, hmm, that corner right there, could you afford it? They have some fabulous things. Uh, they had recently, they, they did a... Um, show it's a yearly show that they have and I'm, I'm not even going to mention it I, like i said you can find it. i'll leave a link to the youtube at some point they really need to change the name of this festival because the world has changed and words don't always mean what they used to but it has their offerings for uh 2023 every year they have some new things that they have created they they have a lot of things that are animatronic and these are primarily for um you know communities and people who have professional haunted houses or you know even if you just have one once once a year or whatever um because they're pricey some of them are some of the props were like five thousand dollars or more because they move they have moving parts and just amazing i'm trying to get back to their product catalog here and that way i can i'm riding so low on this stuff the key is not feeling well they do have some masks and they have alien props i mean these these are not like little cutesy ones so i appreciate those and one of the aliens would set you back about 239 dollars but that's not bad you know, they, they are latex that they work with, which would knock me out of the ballpark because I'm allergic. All kinds of stuff. So the website you could spend, well, I can spend a vast amount of time looking at each of the items because they're great. They are just great. These people seem to be just good human beings. And I do have some of the things that I can show you. That is one of the new ones, uh, new offerings for 2023. And I think they call that the Pumpkin Witch. And my pictures are not going to do it justice because I couldn't, I, I did not have the knowledge to capture the picture off of the website without having the whole website download. And it's like, no, that's not what I want. But that's a really cool sculpt. I cropped the top off of the Pumpkin uh, tree thingy but that is awesome now I can see us having that in our yard year-round 
but I could also see me, you know, flinging cats if they were to try to climb that. The spooky tree, I can't remember whether he moved or not. He may have. Which, you know, if the, some of these things, if you, seriously, if you did leave them up year round, it would not be good because sun damage, weather damage, different things like that, because some of the uh, latex that they use, I'm sure, is rather delicate. And it's what people going through these haunted houses and different attractions don't touch the stuff because some of these things cost a lot. If you want to see the inner workings, go and talk to whomever is holding the event. Ask them if you could get a tour outside of, you know, the normal hours. Because humans tear shit up. I don't know why, but they do. Nosferatu. Oh my God. He would look so great in our living room here. He really, really would. And that that's a damn good sculpt on that. And, of course, they have a collection of creepy clowns. And each year at this festival, they have had different displays and different themes and stuff. Not everything is going to be available because, like I said, I think they've been doing that one festival. And I can't remember where, it, where it's at now. But it's a huge uh, event. Basically, it's vendors. And so they have it earlier in the year. And um, just different themes. And they had some of them that was the creepy clowns that they was just like, Ugh. they had one that was creepy kid things too. That was, yeah. And then they have this little guy and I think his name was Greeley or something like that. He's a puppet. So you could, you know, conceivably you'd have the, the black uh, glove and stuff and, and have him moving. And of course, if you want to just have him, as an indoor prop or something, sort of like we have the Boglins. That's one of the reasons we know sort of the um, volatility, if you want to call that, the delicacy of some of the latex. It can discolor over over years. It can uh, get sort of brittle-ish or gummy. That's one of the, the gross things about the Boglins because I've got one that was original that was from, oh, I don't know, years ago. And sometimes you have to sort of put baby powder or something to take that gummy feeling off of them. But you could stuff this little guy with um, cotton batting or something like our polyester batting, what have you, if you wanted to hold him, sh hold his shape and just have him setting, you know, sitting in your home someplace. Because, yeah, we, we would be people who do things like that. Now, I will tell you that some of the level of deep detail is not there because like i said these are handmade um and it's not going to be the same as mass production so don't don't expect that but it's the detail is there but it's just not it's not cookie cutter and then there's the whole team so like i said i'm glad that these people are living the dream and it's always wonderful when you see somebody, even if you don't get to know them personally, that loves what they do and that, that God had just afforded them to sit there and go, yes, yes, you're, you're one of the chosen ones that gets to do what you love to do and make a living at it and just, and to have a good life, a good fulfilling life. And I do hope that that's, that's the, the... The presence that these people give off, the essence, and I do hope that that's true. I'm sure that they're just like everybody else. They have good days, they have bad days, they have days that things go sideways. But I just wish them the best. So I hope you have fun watching some of their videos and browsing the website. And hopefully it'll inspire you. If you can't afford one of their props or whatever, like I said, maybe it can inspire you to make some of your own. Now is a good time to start thinking about the Halloween and all that stuff. It's not just one night, no, because you've got kids and if you do the yard thing and all that stuff, those of us that do the year-round thing, it's just like, oh, look, more home decor. But fun stuff. Start now. Don't don't wait till the last minute because then you're going to just, everything's going to be janky. It's just going to be janky. 
So, if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural, encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, if you have a favorite Halloween prop or prop company or something that you would like to share, you can send me an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com, and that link will be in the description box, or, you know, yeah, everything will be in the description box. We have just chaos and madness in the description box. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and mostly know that you are loved. I hope that you're, every now and then, getting to do what you love to do, because you are very loved. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Bye.